we will lay it all out for you to see and then and that will provide the basis for you to form an, an informed opinion as opposed to an uninformed opinion of what is going on and where we're going. Um, the Midwest I'm used to, I used to live in eastern Iowa, in Davenport, so I'm accustomed to, to the cold weather. And I used to travel here, and my father used to live here before he died, spent some time here. So. And uh, Minnesota has always been always struck me as being the people here, whether it was UNICO, whether it's United Bong Association, people here always seem to be so well organized compared to other communities. So there, there must be something in the water that you folks drink. That, <laughs> 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 that, that makes you people uh, so organized. People in Minnesota are always so well organized. Yeah, it's good to see so many professional people because you go to some communities we don't see as many professional people. And, uh, so I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. I, I suspect we'll get a larger crowd than probably we've ever had anywhere else. It will be a nice mix of the wannabe politicians as well as the, <laughs> the real ones, <laughs> as well as the uh, professional people. So we can, we can tell our story because we have a story to tell. And uh, this is an opportunity for us to do it. Uh, from here we're going to Atlanta and then to Dallas, which is, those are my two homes, uh, Atlanta and Dallas, and then we, we go back off uh, to Liberia. So thank you all for inviting us, and uh, we look forward to uh, not only the presentation, but more importantly to the relationships and what we do after the presentation going forward, because as a corporation, we, we are engaged in some philanthropic endeavors in two specific areas, education, healthcare. And, you know, as you say, there's grant money. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember I was on a flight, I've gotten away to where, the last two years I spent in this country, I spent uh, consulting. And I was on a plane every week for two years. Um, I was living in Atlanta, my office was in Philadelphia, so every Monday morning I had to get on a plane to Philadelphia. And I remember reading an article in Forbes magazine and in numbers stuck in my head. American corporations and individuals give away $26 billion a year mm -hmm. in charitable giving. And the vast majority of that giving is in two areas, education, health care. Bill Gates' foundation gives more money for healthcare in Africa than the World Bank, the US government, mm. and the UN combined. And I'm glad to see that, you know, I had this conversation with the President many times, is we need to move away from the traditional model of the world. Every time we want money, we go to the World Bank and IMF. And we need to start tapping into some of these foundations. And I'm glad to say, finally, uh, I'm seeing this. You know, I go to her house often when I want to meet with her. I don't go to the mansion because there's too much BS there. I go to her house in the morning. We have breakfast. We talk. And I, increasingly when I go there, I'm seeing people around the table who are, in the political sense, no-name people. These are people from American foundations and things that you've never heard of but they're coming with something to bring to the table for Liberia. And so I'm glad to see we're doing that increasingly as a country. And if you guys are planning to head in that direction, I think you're really heading in the right direction. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chairman? Yeah.